five, four. Hmm. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new campaign. Tonight won't be any adventuring, but it will be making characters. And my goodness, this is going to take forever. <laughs> But it's okay, yeah. they've done a lot of homework and they already have a lot of ideas. So, that's <gasps> fantastic. It's you. What? It's not you. Mm -mm. I keep hearing the breathing. It's not me. Like... Well, people need to breathe. No, it's some true. people don't. <laughs> <laughs> Rook doesn't. <laughs> Oh, all hey, right. Am I check marking every single one of these, or, am I, or did I have to uh, choose a few of them? Because I don't remember. This is going to be yeah, your telltale heart. You're just going to be sitting in your bed <laughs> late at night, and you're just, I hear breathing. <laughs> <laughs> right? I do that all the time. Anyways, I hear somebody breathing. Um, no, that's that's the story of my life. Because I panic about the stupidest things possible. So, people in chat are saying hi to Sabinte. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I don't have Hello. I don't Bye. have the stream open yet. I will open it later. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I will be for uh, everybody get just getting into this. I will be making an Obsidian Portal website. I will link that under the stream, and I will link that on the YouTube channel and everything like that, so you guys can get the full details of everybody's character and backstory that we come up with right now. And we're going to just nod along and pretend we know what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> That's how it always is anyways. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'm using Roll20, as I have been using. We, we were testing a couple uh, basically a month ago if we were going to use Fantasy Grounds or Roll20. Stuck with this. I'm using it in conjunction with Hero Lab. So, for those of you that were interested in knowing what's going on, the information is also at the top of the stream. All right, let's just jump right into this. First, with ability scores. Do you, uh, Sab and Tay, already know what you want to put your points in? Yes, I've already adjusted on my sheet as well. Fantastic. Did I? What did I do? I need Hold to on. know the allotment. You have Tay. It's 15 oh, okay. point by, or you can choose 16, 14, 12, 12, 10, 10, and 8. Okay. I'm going to go with the 15 point by. Okay. We both did the 15. Yeah, we did. Well. We did. Cool. Sorry, I, that was me changing your, your sheet. Um, ah. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is just basically answer questions as we go through the uh, character sheets. Can I go back in. to the page? Yeah, yeah, you totally can. Okay. <laughs> what it is is... After this session's done with, I'm going to go into Hero Lab and basically copy paste everything. So I might not have any rules conflictions at the start of the campaign, but I might come back later on and say, actually, I did this number wrong, and just let you know what the new number should be. I'm oh, so almost like going to change it for you. Yes. <laughs> Oops. Your character is far too strong. You've lost an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, your mission in life is to find this missing arm. Well, my charisma is not 118, guys. No, Sometimes my my charisma is like pretty low. <laughs> Our charisma is terrible. We're both at like eight. So this is definitely not the diplomatic Tay that uh, everyone knows from Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so these are alternate timeline, alternate versions of you guys' character uh, from Final Fantasy 14, right? Right. Yes. Except Essentially. most of mine is going to be baffling people with BS. No. It's more so like playing if Sab <laughs> had been more evil. If Sab had had more of an influence on Tay instead of Tay more on Sab. Yeah, I was about to say, she, it sounds like yeah. she's just trying to play Sab. Alright, so we've got... Trying. She's... Basically, with your scores right there, Tay, it looks like you're a smartass. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, you're that's not very charismatic. You, you could no. be. I mean, Tay looks good, right? But then sure. she starts talking, and people are like, wow, what a bitch. <laughs> well, I mean, I am cackling at everything, so. Right. And then we look at Sab, uh, who's basically a well-toned uh, cat girl. It was, it was Beast Hide Shifter. Tail's a Dream Sight Shifter. I yeah. should, should yeah. add that in there. So you're a Where... Beast Hide Shifter. 
No, yes. I'm, I'm saying that for the, the audience. Oh. Hello, audience. <laughs> um, surprisingly for a barbarian, Sav is smart, but not very perceptive. Uh, low charisma, so probably a little bit temperamental, which is not normal for a barbarian at all. Not at all. Decent healthful, decent speed. I'm really surprised that you put 12 in intelligence instead of wisdom. So you, you basically well, have a good chance of going off the rocker over just simple stuff, too. <laughs> the way I was more looking at it was, essentially, because we changed how the influence between the two characters would be, mm -hmm. it was it would have more likely role-played along that way, because Tay, since their whole point is that she's helping Tay try to get into a university which I think is what we're going with, that Fantastic. she would have inadvertently picked up more of that stuff. That is a perfect backstory for what we're getting into. So, so Morgrave University, University is, is like the prestige university to go to in Corvair. It just so happens that the main Morgrave University school, there's a couple of them, the main one is in Sharn, in the heart of Sharn. Hello, Glorifier. Hello. Hello, Wall. Where did uh, Sab's moving his computer? If you didn't figure that oh, out, he just he's moving magic. to a desk. Yes. <laughs> I thought he just started <laughs> casting levitate. Yes. Pathfinder is Dungeons and Dragons. Ebron is steampunk. Oh, it's a steampunk setting. Uh, what the? All right, Garrett. Mm. I'm going to look at your core a bit of stuff real quick. Yep. Holy crap. That's your point by? I'm copy pasting the PDF you sent me a while back. Oh, I sent you a PDF? Fantastic. Because I lost, uh, that was on my main drive. Yeah, he out. lost everything. Yeah, well, I still got it. Fantastic. This is a complete clone from when I first used him. Awesome. Okay, oh, no, okay um, so I see spell class broken. zero. That's not correct. Sorry. Not Hang correct. on. Um, uh, we're sorting um, Garrett out really fast. It's not possible at level 1. What is possible, though, is 14, 16, and the rest are 10. Uh, if that's what you want to go. That's basically what I had him built as. Yeah, we actually just... Uh, we were just playing 5th edition, but we I have decided to go back on Pathfinder because I just want to frustrate Sab and Tay, basically. Everything is my fault. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, at least the previous character got a pretty good end by having all the companions and they ran off into the sunset with their horde of admirers. All right, so, uh, Garrett, if you drop your con or intelligence by two, you can put the 12 in charisma. Yeah, never mind then. I can put that back down to 10. Okay. I don't know. It might be fun to have it where none of us can talk our way out of the paper bag. <laughs> Thank you, Cav. Yep, setting up your character is one of the most interesting me. spots mm -hmm. uh, or, or parts of the, the campaign. Uh, all right, I need to copy Seda. Seda, you have a 12. That's not going to be possible. I don't know. Now, I need help with this because I don't remember what I had. That's fine. Oops. I know that charisma is my highest. Well, you can basically only afford to put 16 in something. Okay. If you don't want negatives in others. So 16 and 12 in one other thing. Well, didn't we have a negative in um, strengths? Yeah, we can put a negative in strength, and that gives you a few more to put somewhere else. I'm going to just come over there. Yeah. Um, so, so let's see at the bottom of the screen real quick. We've got, We've got Danny, Danny playing, playing a half orc, orc gunslinger. Shy is playing a elf, elf uh, oracle. Orc. She's cursed. Uh, she's slowly turning into a plant. Somebody's going to have to bring, am... bring along a large pot <laughs> of soil <laughs> just in case it completes her transformation <laughs> at some point in time. He needs a pruner and keep her sheared a little bit so that she doesn't just branch off everywhere. I mean, I, I, be a good idea. I could be on pruning duty if you need me to. Tail. I mean, I am a hedge witch. Have their time. Uh -huh. 
Tail is playing. Did you just <laughs> make that pun? I missed it. But she's playing a dream sight shifter. She said she can handle it because she's a hedge witch. Oh, jeez. I appreciate that pun. I didn't realize that you Tay are welcome. And I have the same laugh. Also, Sav is playing a beast hide shifter. Hey, Kara. Hi. Uh, yeah, a lot of people say that she's turning into a dryad. It's more like um, yeah, it's a Gorian. If you Google Gorian, uh, you she's turning more into a plant. Uh, it's not a, a good thing. It will depends on how you look so. at it. Oh, maybe she's I don't even know what it does because she switched it up. Um, we I need my skills. I know, I know. Let it back up. Oop, I pulled okay. a wrong thing. All right. So you have. Uh, you could either put 12 in, some, in two things or 14 in one thing. I don't know what I need next. You had something with a 2 in it last time. Was that dex? Uh, that's uh, going to that's increase, increase your AC. AC. If you increase your wisdom, wisdom, you get better perception, uh, hand on animal, things think, like that. If you I think do that intelligence, was it. you get more skill points. Um, well, let's just go with those two. Uh, the other reason oh, I wasn't too worried so about my wisdom score. Um, can I Please pop my charisma up one more? So it's a 17. So next, next um, uh, once you get level you 4, you're going to go to 18 in charisma and get your, your bonus. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, so okay. what was that, Sad? I can't hear Sad. Oh, she was asking questions. So I, yeah, I we we I... we were muted. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I thought he was asking me a question. All right, Daniel, any questions? Uh, PC Daniel. Mm, nope. Okay, all going good. Fantastic. So, let me pull up Tail because Tails is by far going to be the most complicated one to build. Yep. Yeah. Luckily, I tried to go ahead and get much of her level 1 stuff selected with her mm -hmm. to see what we could get out of the way. So I, I can actually copy the stuff over to you real quick. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Glory. Oh, yay! Let's see. I'm going to assume that your favorite class is Witch. Whose? Mine? Edge Witch. Yes, yours. Yeah. All right, so my next question is, did you ever choose a favored bonus? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it means... You mean uh, the patron deity thing? No. This means when you level up, um, for now, for level one, do you want an extra hit point or do you want an extra skill point? My recommendation is Ooh. always skill points. Yeah, I'd probably go for skill point. All right. You get an extra skill point. Yeah, you get cackle at level two. Yeah. If we're going this way, which I think has we been approved. Yeah, I think I think we decided that that's what we yeah. were gonna do. I'm gonna have to make a um, race as we go along here. Um, oh, would there uh, be any problem with having Sab uh, be the voice of my familiar? Not at all. She wants me to be oh, the voice of the familiar once she gets great. cackle and then tell her bad jokes that makes the, makes her cackle in character each time she uses cackle. That sounds fantastic. All right. Um, where do you want me to send you this? Skype? No, to my Gmail. Okay. It's the easiest. All right. I have to pull up Tay's ability uh, scores here. Oh, I forgot I decided that I was going to do Slumber at level 3. No, Slumber is level... That's an ability focus thing. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That makes it harder to resist. Yep. Okay, like, so I remember we had this long conversation about what we were going to do with it, so I was like, well... Okay. Take I think we were doing... Not three points over root because I'm not including the... Uh race yet, so I'll fix that in the future. Alright, put you back on your page. 
Uh, basically, everything that you see in D and D Fifth Edition is in Pathfinder, but Pathfinder just has so much more because it's been out for far longer, it's more supported mm -hmm. and stuff. So, anything that's in D and D is in Pathfinder. But as far as Eberron goes, just includes steampunk stuff. So since you mentioned that you that you encourage using the favored class for adding a skill point in the Pathfinder thing for or the Eberron thing for shifters, it says that there's other options for favored class as well. Yes. And it says for which you can choose to get a sixth of a new hex, and for barbarian you can get one extra rage round. Right. So. I Even, Even with, with those, those, you still, you still suggest, suggest the skill point? point? Yes, because you won't see the sixth of a spell. Uh, uh, or six. sixth of a, a hex or whatever. You won't see that yet exactly until level six. And by then, you already have six extra skill points. So it works once you're high level and you retrain. Where am I putting the hexes? Do they go in uh, spells? Yeah. Okay, is what's with spell class zero instead of spell class one? That's your cantrips. Yes. It's Where the crap you have zero with level spells, and you have to choose which ones you want your familiar to know, because your familiar is your spell which is which. Right. Where did I write that? I don't think you ever picked your cantrips. I'll pull Why it, didn't I'll pull we do this? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I it's because I was confused. It's gonna take needed, me forever. No, it's because I was confused and needed to ask that. Do you get access to all cantrips, and you just have to pick which ones you prepare? Are they really because making the me write down seemed, my class again? The way I read it, uh, Vex. Hang on just a second. Some okay. Things. So he keeps breathing on it. Um, I think so it's Daniel. I, I did too. Um, <laughs> I don't my mic muted. Oh. <laughs> I mean. Who is? Let me let me try tilting mine a little further out. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yeah. We can hear you great. Okay. Um, so okay. In, the, in the future. In in the future, yeah. Either one will have to mute one while the other's talking, or we'll have to separate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> into different rooms to play. No. <laughs> I mean, I have I have a muted now, but um. Yeah. Well, it's coming through your microphone. I think just yeah, muted. Like, yeah, he's Both you're getting the echo from, from my microphone. Yeah. Right. So it makes like a double, triple, quadruple, quintuple echo. Can you just hear me through hers when I have mine completely off? Yeah, but it's like really far away now. Yeah, it's really far away. So it's Don't the same problem me. that Shy and I were having. I can I can just uh, look look. I'll just hit my mute button. See. That's what I had to keep doing. Fantastic. Yeah, my keyboard is beautiful. That's because what we're it's doing got this that, session, guys. That wonderful button. Yeah, this is exactly what we're doing this session to get all these things worked out before we do the actual session. <laughs> okay, so the question about spells was what? Cantrips. Yes. The, the cantrips, you know every cantrip on the witch list. You just have to pick which ones you prepare, right? Um, let me pull that up. It's different for... Because I think um, I, I think I remember I like the, the witch's familiar knows prepared. all of the cantrip spells. You just have to pick which ones you prepare, sort of like a weird wizard. Well, I think that the familiar learns the witch's spells. Yeah, the, I well, wasn't, the familiar is, is the spell book. Yeah. Right, right. Because the witch uses the familiar for the spells. That's Which why I was so upset. I had a little bat as my familiar one time, and someone blew it up. And then I I couldn't do anything but cry. <laughs> That's why improve familiar as soon as she can get it. It's important. Yeah. <laughs> and she's going to go for the, of course, the little fairy one. I'm going seven. for the little fairy. I've got to have Eos as Eos. Come on. Why not? <laughs> if we're basing these off of Final Fantasy XIV, might as well go all the way. No, yeah. it's starting off with the baby dinosaur. Baby dinosaur. <laughs> Let's see. Out pops a baby dinosaur. Team composition is going to be gunslinger, witch, oracle, and barbarian. There's going to be an NPC added as a companion, which is going to be a huge detriment to a character, but also a huge boost. 
He's mine. Let's see. Yeah, we no, we, thought say, is thought about, mine? we thought about doing that companion thing, but I couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't think of anybody long. that would willingly travel with Sab and Tay for that long. Yeah, well, I have Other a, than you um, two. I have a good backstory for Firu. So I, I don't think he's going to be too detrimental. Like, I don't think... I don't think he'll put us off balance any. But we'll see. Let's see here just a second real quick. I'm just giving them a link. Really Are we going to try and find out how many people can fit on the centaur? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Just like you know, the, the links are all below the uh, stream. Okay, so yeah, the way it works is that the familiar has all the uh, cantrips, and then they learn the spells, but you can only use three of those cantrips per day. Like, you can only have three of them prepared per day. So you just have to pick at the beginning of the day three of the cantrips you really want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you get infinite use of cantrips. Yeah. Correct. That's exactly how they work. Time Oracle's best oracle. Time Oracle's crazy. Okay, like I said, setting up Taze is going to be most complicated, because I've only seen a witch plate once, and that was when Shy did it forever ago. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. My bat got blown up. I was reckless. Poor bat. Mm -hmm. So, did you name in replace of Child of, you're getting extra hex, so I'm adding that. What was the other feat that you wanted? Extra hex. So you want extra hex twice? Yeah, that way she can have yep. three okay. different hexes at first level, because otherwise spellcasting might get boring quick for her. Okay. Yeah, um, I think I think the three hexes I think what I was doing is healing, uh, evil eye, and slumber. Not cackle. Cackle only continues your other ones, so it's okay. not useful if you don't have other ones, so and we kind of desperately want. wanted to have healing so that somebody in our group can heal. So there you go. I three, can heal. Three hexes. Well, I didn't I'm, a, I'm a small backup healer, though. I'm not I'm not really focused on it. Who was your um, patron? At level, at level four, she can convert. Deception. Then again, I can freely pick and cast any skill f or any spell from the cleric table. Do you have the level 1 spells chosen for your familiar? Not a one. <laughs> I'm getting the list. Yeah, you do. You only get one level. I, I gave it to you. Where? The disadvantage that the oracle is taking is oh, a custom oh, one. Yes. It's that she's being slowly turned into a plant, so it's kind of like... Um, Lame and uh, was it decay? I think it was wither. Wither, yeah. It's like it's kind of a mix. It's one that I'm custom doing. Yeah. Uh, it's a special curse to Eberron. I had played this character before. Unfortunately, we don't have the notes on her anymore. She essentially loses. Uh, she she doesn't have full control over her sanity and does random things. And I decide when those random things happen. She rolls on a one d one hundred, and has to do that. Level 1 spells. Ear piercing scream. Mage armor. And for everyone's sanity, no, I won't actually scream. Good, good. Reduce person. Will you throw ice at Sab when you do that one? Maybe. I haven't different. quite decided yet. <laughs> Alrighty, fantastic. So that's four level 1s, two of which you can prepare per day. The scream is great. So you have six skill points total to distribute. Oops. Do you mind if I take you off of your feats tab, Tail? Don't know what now? Do you mind if I look over at your skills? Oh, go for it. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt. I don't. I don't even think I. Uh... Oh yeah, no, I had just checked marked all of the class skills because I didn't know exactly if that's what I was supposed to do or not. Yes, yes. yeah, you definitely, definitely check mark those. those. Um, you have a total of six ranks 
you cannot put more than one in any of them. The, the ranks have to be your level or less. Whoops, let me fix that. <laughs> so once you get those placed, let me know and I'll put them in my program. Hey, Tony, I'll just email you the PDFs you sent me before. Garrett. Oh, it said learn five spells each level. That was only four, wasn't it? Correct. If it says learn five each level. <laughs> it is a fungal curse. All right. Okay. So we were ramping up your decks. Is what it was. Our shifters are descended from Wear Tiger since they're feline. Okay. So I got you back to where you're 1814, Daniel. Yep. I'm not gonna worry about the religion right now. I'll put that in later. Hmm. You had acrobatics. You had. Stealth and Perception. And I put one in Gunsmithing. I think I was just... Uh, I think Charm Person would be the way to go. Smithing. All right, send me the PDF now. Okay. There he goes, Craft Blacksmith. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. When she that, casts that Charm Person... Briefly, um, cat people, it's uh, Shifter. One is it? Uh, Tails playing Dream, Dream Sight Shifter, and Sab is playing uh, Beast Hide Shifter. And let me actually pull up... I want to give you guys the link that we're using, it's converted for Pathfinder. And that way you can see all the cool new things, because there's special feats and things like that that are just for this campaign setting. All right, so what's up, Sab? Oh, I was... Her, the thing for Charm Person says an opposed charisma check. That means that they use charisma to go against her Spell craft plus intelligence bonus check, right? For spell check, yeah. yeah it's, okay. It, well, it's it's normally uh, their her DC. So if I were to, you said you wanted to do uh, charm person. Yeah, I think she's going with charm person for her last spell. Yeah, it might be. I might be going for that just so okay. it's. Let me it's so you can kind of <laughs> make her way through the conversation. Very what? Useful? Useful. Yeah. A lot of people are like, no, don't go for those spells as the early versions, but starting at level one, I mean, if you can use it, you can use it. Okay, and no, it's, it's, it's a save. It, it, what it is is it's will. Uh, they make a will save, and it is against uh, her save DC, which will be a 14. So they roll higher than a 14 will save then they do not get charmed. Okay, yeah, so that's that's a good one for you to pick because it syn synchronizes with your evil eye because you can make them have worse saves for it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll you add that to your that part. So that leaves you with your five spills. Are you, are you filling out my form right now? No, 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 I'm filling out the Hero Lab one. Oh, okay, okay. Oh crap! Well, then I better start writing this stuff down then, because <laughs> I was like, "Wait, are you filling my crap out?" Okay, so this is uh, Garrett when he was a level four. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Yes. So now we're doing things down to level um, one. So let me pull up over here. So, for your skills, I gave you a rank in acrobatics, craft blacksmith, um, perception, and stealth are the ones that have plus one rank in them. 
Okay. Um, tell them the, sh the type of shifter is Dream Sight and Beast Tide Shifter. Mm. I had new feats. I believe you had. Uh, it was a beast type? Beast Hide. Beast Hide. It was Rapid Reload. <laughs> I put Shuffler. My text is so tiny on my screen, so anytime someone says a shifter, it looks like shitter. <laughs> <laughs> so, just so, letting you know that when you're near somebody and you make a ranged attack, or you cast a spell, they get to make an attack against you. So, it, just keep that in mind in, in the future if you're fighting, you're in the middle of combat, you desperately need to cast a spell. Just Be aware of the consequences. That they might smack you over the head with a sword. Yeah. That's why that mage armor is really nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it I would always suggest stop you from casting. Me as a shuffler, just a really old shifter. <laughs> 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 yeah, mage, mage armor and charm person. I'm a dream shite shuffler. So I'm putting, I'm putting oh. those five spells there, under Sunny. level one spells, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, what was the feats that you had again? You had never stop shooting. Those are all traits. Feats, feats, feats. Point blank. Yeah, you already get gunsmithing. We already have that. Grit. Oh, okay, there's only one feet. Okay, we had it right. Oops. Pistol. Um, can't afford a dragon pistol to start off with level one, but you can uh, start off with a regular pistol. So that's what we're making everything built off for you, Garrett. We'll have yep. to make one for you. Let's see. Uh, did the two of you Just choose buying, your traits? buying, it's going to be way too much. <laughs> did you get into traits? I fear not. Okay, that's perfectly fine. What I'll do is, um, there's a crap ton of traits, so what I'll do is basically just narrow things down and give you some traits that work out really well. There's some really nice staple ones that that help out Work your out really well Thank for you. you or for us? For you guys. So I'll, basically, I'll narrow it down to like the top five or six, and let you guys pick from that. Um, but that's something I'll probably just email to you, and you just shoot me an email back because it'll take me a little while to go through the 400 traits, <laughs> roughly. I'm trying to find the list of them. Yeah. Oh, good luck. It's like super tedious to look through all of those traits. Where are they at? You get, you get the two, and they can't be from the same category. Um, Where can I find them? At, I'm making them right now. That's those oh, okay. ones. And then. You got the ones for everyone right there. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't even worry about the Eberron ones. They just give you recommendations to the ones that are already listed. So you can only choose one trait um, per or from each thing. So you get a total of two traits for your character, but you can't have like two combat traits. It has to be a combat and something else. And I already have Garrett's. Garrett's was... Never stop shooting and veteran of battle. Mm. Uh, OK, 
Okay, so that was, uh, I believe, a religious one. Nope. This spreadsheet is horrifying. It was. Which one? I need to get here a lot on this computer. We'll get it on there later. <laughs> no steam tanks, actually. Kind of, sort of, but better. Everything in Ebron is much better than you would normally think it could be. Alright. Garrett was really easy to make. Mm, super simple. Let's just give gun, let shoot. Give melee weapon, let hit. <laughs> Alright, say it is. So you want to customize yours further through here lab. Okay, so we'll worry about Sab and Tay the most. Yeah, go ahead and help them out because um, once I get here lab, I can do it so much easier. I'm just... Right, we'll have to... Um, here we go. Sab. Oh, that was just Tails, Stabs, and Feats. All right, Sab, what was your level one feat? I'm Wolverine. Wolverine? I have a healing factor. Oh, right, you took the uh, the shifter one, yeah? Yep. Okay. Just letting you guys know that Eberron is not spelled with E-D. Are you bouncing in your chair? Because I feel the floor shaking. He's just a little gassy. <laughs> Look, some of us don't do this thing called sitting still. <laughs> That's Vex right there. Always tapping his foot. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I'm trying to think Darn, of anything like else the, that I need. I like the Defender of Society trait, but it's only for fighters, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what were your skills? You had four skill points, Sab. I have six. Oh, you I have did. a I plus one modifier and the favored class one. Yeah. I put them on there. No, I didn't put them on Hero Lab, because I'm smart. I, I didn't take over your... um. I'm, I want to take your page to core real quick. Alrighty. 6, 14, 14, 12. Oops, I'm going to just look at this awesome map in the background. Alright, fantastic. So, uh, you, you can take it back off of there. Take it back off so, of there. I'm talking Sab. Alright, All right, so, so what were your six points, points put in? Now I gotta go find it. Dun, dun, dun. Acrobatics, climb, intimidate, perception, ride. Let's see, is that six or is that five? That's five. That's five. I put yeah. Six one. I put the last one in swim. Good idea. All right. Cool. Swim is so underappreciated so, so at early once level. You choose your traits, let me know. Um yes, Tails using archetype actually, isn't she? I think so. I don't think any of us are yet. Besides I'm her. using the yeah, Tails hedge. a hedge witch, and I'm an unchained yeah. barbarian. Yeah. Oh, okay, then yeah. There we go. Man, looking at this map, so it's just. And sorry. Um, all oh, right. I need tail skills as well. Let's 
just a second. I'm still writing That's down That's totally fine. spells. Unchained I'm Barbarian putting a bunch of spells on them. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, getting all that stored, sorted out. Mm -hmm. I'm putting like the full description in the description area, so then I don't have to keep going all over the internet for the stuff later. Yeah. So. Yeah, when you have a set spell book, it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Shy, unfortunately, has to have the entirety of the spells open at all times. I'm going to have to have five tabs of the internet open at all times whenever we play. Yeah, because you need the Ebron spells and the Pathfinder spells. Good lord. So you're going to set up one of those nine screen things? That yeah. Your but main one is the center, every other one is a spell book. The benefit is I have an app for everything. <laughs> mm hmm Got decapitated. That's okay. We'll pause time for a second. Yeah, let's just let's just redo it a little bit. That sounds a little overpowered at level one. <laughs> yeah, it's not oh, at level one. <laughs> I was level sixteen when I did it. Yeah. And, like the party was getting decapitated by flying trap shrapnel, and I had stopped, reversed, and then restarted time. <laughs> I used up three turns, but... Apparently, ear-piercing scream can be, like, upgraded to mythic ear-piercing scream. Yeah, if we yeah, go, mythic. go mythic. If you guys yeah. somehow find a way to gain mythic Man, levels. if we go mythic, we're gonna be broke. <laughs> yeah, well, so mythic is the campaign. Mythic is so awesome. If you guys go mythic, then the campaign goes mythic as well. Obviously. Yeah. I've learned how to to DM Mythic after that that one Eberron campaign. <laughs> the one that Vice was in? Yeah. Well, the only thing that was broken about that is you guys had almost an infinite amount of uh, Mythic points because of the way I was running it. It was really fun. Yeah. It was really fun. I forwarded them, too. I had, like, 200 Mythic points saved up. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how believable that game would be. <laughs> it just would kind of sound like a uh, like a god modded <laughs> way it's, through it's thing. It's definitely an overpowered version. You are the heroes of legend. Yeah, like in a single turn. Okay. Vice would be able to do 300 damage plus. So, while well, you guys are going over the character creation and everything like that, um, did you have a chance to read through those uh, two books? Well, really the one book, the, the one with all the pictures in it. The other one is extremely detailed stuff. There were lots of pretty pictures. I like pictures. In yeah, in the, in, the very first, <laughs> in the very first PDF I sent you, it was mostly just basic knowledge. Also, the... The prophecy. Really the like reading make that. all this number crunching worth it. The, dra the dragon prophecy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I liked reading all that, and then all the the crazy amounts of towns and things. I was like, there's so many. Yeah. And that's just what exactly does it I am going to be curious about absolutely everything. Yeah. Miss yeah. Dragon. I I would be enamored by seeing a dragon. Just saying. Yep. They live way off the screen. It's just a lizard with wings. No. They are gorgeous creatures. <laughs> All right, so two years ago. Uh, yes. No, go ahead. Yeah, question. Uh, just a quick, quick, quick question is: What exactly does it mean by a foe being threatened? Isn't that if you're in melee range of them? Not all the time. So no, I'm not. I'm not sure if playing. if the trait that gives me plus one bonus damage on foes who are threatened by only me would be useful in this circumstance at all. Because if okay. everyone else is ranged, they threaten everybody any time they're in range, right? Yeah, they're, they're talking about threatening as far as provoking attack of opportunities and stuff like that. So if, for you, uh, it would be anybody within your, your reach. Uh, so that's a, anybody within a five-foot radius of you. So basically adjacent enemies. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. But So that would include... Well, since it says threatened by only me, that means anyone who's in any of their ranges is threatened by somebody else, too, right? Yeah, so if you and Tail were you know, back to back, and there was somebody that sh that was adjacent to both of you, that wouldn't apply to that person, because she's also threatening them. Basically, that means if you are fighting them by yourselves, or by yourself. 
I might just go with the thing that gives me extra three rage rounds then. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I'll do that for my trade. Berserker rounds of are Society. Awesome. What is it of society? Berserker of Society. And since they grew up in a town, it works. I think. Am I misunderstanding what it means by society? I don't know, that's totally fine. I just have to find it. Is that under um, social? Combat. Combat. Oh, this oh. is why I need to be here. Tag, have it. I don't see it. Where's that uh, trade at? I've got it. Here, let me. I've got it uh, sorted under combat, and it's just in alphabetical order, so it's trait nine on my screen. Okay. Let me see if I can direct link it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it's Pathfinder Society. Gotcha. Oh, you found it? Mm hmm. That's one I had to put in manually. So, yeah, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Two and a half work. <laughs> <laughs> How many shifters do you guys have? <gasps> Two and a half work. I get yeah. it. <laughs> oh my god, that flew right over there for a second. I had to hear it from someone. Well, yeah, the uh, plant the plant it. doesn't count, so technically that's 100% accurate. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just a Groot. I'm like baby Groot. And female. Yeah. Oh, crap. I mean, Groot could have been female. We don't know what the genders of giant tree people look like. Let's be real here. <laughs> true. How dare you judge him and or her? I don't know. <laughs> and or her. <laughs> there we go. Did you say we have to get we get two traits? You get two traits, yes. Mm -hmm. you just, they can't be right. from the same yeah. area. Yeah, that's all. This party just might end up being all tangled up. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe whenever the plant moon is close enough. All right, so being shifters, tail had to start off in a city. Sad. Did you two like grow up together or? We hadn't really decided that yet. Okay. I think Sab was probably working odd jobs in the city and then That's sort right. of ran into Tay and attached herself to Tay and okay. is helping support Tay because they're girlfriends now. Yeah, so we're going to say that you're roughly, uh, at, at best, you've known each other for two years because the last war just ended two years ago. And it ended when an entire kingdom, this the Mornland here, that area covered in white, that basically got blown to hell. It exploded. There's um, technology that was being worked on and all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, just went, yeah, accidentally. I think uh, lots of theories regarding what exactly happened. Yeah, because it's also mm -hmm. now overrun by undead and just terrible things. Really, it's more accurate if you like think of Berserk, of um, where. I don't, you guys read or seen Berserk? Uh, wow, ages ago? I can't believe you said The um, the sacrificial like so, zone. No, no, just okay. It's, all, yeah, yeah. All something about floating like death clouds, and yeah. uh, I was immediately like, nope, nope. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> gonna you don't walk just, away from there right now. Don't just yeah. travel there. The crimson water there. Yeah, that wasn't even a lake before. That that wasn't even a body of water. I don't think it is a body of water. water. I don't even think it's water. Yeah. So it's essentially an area you just don't travel to. They have a bunch of outposts and, and places to keep an eye on things. But 
recently even the the lightning rail locations have stopped running through there man and it would have been so easy for me to just go boop mm -hmm. boop earlier but now i need to travel all the way freaking across there we went cross country All right. Yeah, you basically. Yeah, I mean, so Garrett, Seda, and the Centaur, um, Firuz, were traveling. Garrett was with him for roughly four months. Meanwhile, yeah, I think that's what we settled on. Yeah. Because like, we've been traveling for around five and a half months. The Centaur traveled for mm. a month. So Garrett met them over here in Catherhold. Everybody's, we gathered up and gather hold. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> currently in rote right now. But since you, ah. this is this is rote. This is where the the campaign starts. I should say this is where we are right now. When we meet up for our session next week, we will be right here, where where it says you are here. Um, we'll we'll be further along down this way. Uh, on the train. So, so being dream sight, uh, tail, you probably came from uh, maybe even Greenheart, somewhere in the Eldian reaches, but it has to be a settlement of some sort. As far as Sab being beast hide, um, it makes more sense that you came up, you, you came from Karnath or Kabara. But I mean, you can choose any kind of region like that, and you don't have to to necessarily be wild. You could have been from another city or something like that. Uh, where did you want me to record my hexes? Because I I put the uh, five spells, spells under spells, so just go ahead and add it to that same section. Yeah, but put yeah. it under level zero or something. That way, it stand out. Okay. Um, where are my cantrips going then? Uh, also under level zero. Okay, so uh, spell zero. Uh, I'm gonna put my hexes and yeah, okay. yeah. To make it stand um, out a little bit am better, I reserving just put a hex am I reserving spell class two for later on, or yeah. Yeah. can I just split the three of them there? I mean, if you want to put them there, you can, but you will be using level two. Okay, mm -hmm. well then, yeah, I'll just throw it all in zero then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we could go as far as saying that you guys are all acquaintances because Passage is a perfect place to kind of be meeting up. Um, it's a nice big town. I mean, Rote's huge. Rote's bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but if you guys want to know each other as a party, you could have met back all the way back here and been traveling for a little while. I'm fine with either. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. The traveling oh, earlier yeah. means that there's Your camera's not less working reason to be... traveling earlier means there's less reason for anyone to be suspicious of anyone else. Yeah, yeah. I, I can agree with that. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little oops. Tay's got several good trait choices for magic. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so you guys met back in Passage, so that means that you guys have known each other for at least a month. That's really good. There you are, Daniel. Uh, it is very expensive, I might add, to be traveling via the lightning rail. Um, really expensive. Something like, uh, let me see here, I actually have it. Oopsie. Scholarship? Scholarship? Yeah, that pay for school. <laughs> They sometimes will pay for your travel. <laughs> I actually had this on favorite somewhere and now I've lost it. So if I pick Unnatural Revenge and I gain plus two bonus on Intimidate checks against creatures of animal, fey, or plant, since Seda's sort of a plant, does it work on her? No. 
She's still a creature. Meaning conventions is not what I need. Ah well. That's okay. You can edit it later. Yeah, basically it was like two silver or something like that. I had all the math out. I'll re-look it up. Anyways, it's like two silver per mile. Yeah, it's like super expensive. We had to stop every single week for Fury to do hard labor to earn money well, to get another. Guys. So just putting that in perspective, this is a, this is to scale. That's a hundred miles. Mm-hmm. So, and that that was for standard. So that's a hundred miles. You want me to do it? Here. No, I got it, I got it. So you'd be looking at 160 gold a piece. <laughs> to travel standard. But As a level 1, that's rough. Yes. And there's definitely no scholarship that will take care of that. Um... The good news is, is you can travel in the back, in the caboose, which is where, if they have, like, livestock and all that kind of stuff, that's where that travels. It's back behind the storage. I can't earn passes by shoveling lightning coal into the lightning engine? No. Uh, it's actually, it's ran by a uh, wind elemental. They buy yeah, I actually, I actually read it. I was just wanting to make yeah. this terrible joke. <laughs> Say that well, so I can, have I can, the difference. I can shovel wind crystals into the wind elemental. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the difference is you only pay a copper per mile. So if we're guessing a mm -hmm. hundred uh, copper, you pay a total of eight gold. Eight gold is doable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to to. Besides, I don't mind sleeping back there. Yeah. If y'all don't mind sleeping in hay bales. Yeah, next to a centaur. <laughs> and a crazy. Wouldn't he have to be might... back there anyways? <laughs> yeah, he you has might... to. He doesn't have a choice. You might wake up with like fingers in your mouth. Just saying. That's just Seda. Oh, Sab Seda. Up with worse things in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. But, but like but tails, tail. tail. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my tail. Wait, I thought this was a mature stream. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, so, so everybody's, everybody's gonna be traveling go. in the caboose. So when I get the tokens, I know where to place everybody. It'll only cost eight gold, which will make things much easier on you guys. Um, mm -hmm. So tail, you're heading to Sharn in hopes of being becoming a Morgrave University student. So you're talented and you're hoping to get in basically through a contest of sorts. They yearly uh, accept open invites or they do an open invite. The top 10 um, prospects are able to get into the university via a scholarship. But you have to get there and do everything in order to earn the scholarship. Because I already know I'm going to nail it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> of course. You, you, you are talented. That's the key, the key thing there. Um, and hilarious. Your, your talents, however, might be more conventional for a mid-level tavern as an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, like, in the hey, right now as an entertainer. No, no, no. I'm saying that that might be Money. what the talent would be for. Um, oh, so got Sab, it. Sab just kind of uh, tags along, I guess. And Sab knows she can get at least some kind of job there, anyways, and she doesn't care what she's doing. So, 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, being chaotic neutral, you kind of just go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. so and mm -hmm. that being a little bit more intelligent than the average barbarian, um, you know that Sharn is also rife with corruption. So yeah, finding somebody that needs a bodyguard isn't going to be hard work. Um, as far as what you guys have shared over the past month of travel back there in the caboose of the lightning rail, uh, is there any information you want to make public as maybe you guys were chatting, mulling things over, hovering along? Well, I'm, I'd figure by now they'd realize that Sab and Tay are girlfriends with each other. Newsflash, Garrett, you have just <laughs> encountered lesbians. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure he's seen him before, like in that brothel. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's shocked by that. I mean, he went pretty hard in that brothel. <laughs> but get rid of book once. <laughs> so, and like you said before, he likes the ones with pictures. Tail. <laughs> um, Tail's a, a scholarly hedge witch, yes? Yes. So... You have heard of guns. You've never actually seen one used. You've never seen one in person. You thought that pretty much all gunpowder, uh, handheld gunpowder technology had been erased in the Mornland when, in the great, uh, I'm just going to say the great explosion. <laughs> the great explosion of death. The big one. The big boom. Yeah, the catastrophe that <laughs> happened there. You were pretty sure that any technology, because that's where guns were coming from, was... Um, Basically, House Caneth there. Um, Garrett uses a gun, repairs a gun, can work on it, and can make bullets and all that kind of stuff. Um, he actually get he was working as a blacksmith um, and also helping out. I, I say a blacksmith, but he was smelting essentially um, as a side job to keep money coming in uh, up there in Passage. Perhaps you guys needed something from Blacksmith or something like that, and that's how you met. And Seda and S uh, Viru just kind of stood out. Anyways, Are we sure someone we're tag on. The chosen child is their trait and get 900 extra gold to start with. <laughs> then we could travel in style. Yeah. <laughs> just barely, too. <laughs> um, so you said I've, I've never actually gotten to see a gun before. So, um, yeah, I would probably be all about, hey, can I fiddle with it? Can I, I take it apart? Oh, can I see Garrett, it? Can I see it? Garrett can just I? whips it out. <gasps> can I touch it? <laughs> Please? Yeah, so pretty much like, he, doesn't, he doesn't show it off too much in town, but I assume that you have to clean it uh, nightly if it's been recently used. Oh, yes. Yeah, he has, <laughs> he he has a small uh, smelting kit that he's actually able to make more bullets out of and stuff like that. I am going to so, watch. It sounds like Tay is very interested in how you much polish interest. your girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at that gun. That is exactly what you have in that game. Is, that's what you have. It's a hundred percent what you have. You need to upgrade it in real life to upgrade it in game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you can uh, find a way to widen the barrel out or get one with a widened barrel, it becomes a dragon pistol. So <laughs> that's the only difference, really. Uh, that's freaking awesome. That's great. Everybody, Sab's wearing red just, shorts. I should just go outside and get a branch. <laughs> <laughs> and just shove them in your hair. Sab just, uh -huh. Sab just ran off to uh, go get something. Okay. The oh. branches on the hair reminded me of the very first time I played d and I had did an you, oracle. Sorry, did you put your skills oracle. tail? Your skill ranks. Um, with skills. There we go. I mean, I check marked all. Hey, of we're not the competing on who's is bigger there. here. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's more authentic. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Wait, did you just say yours is real? Ours is not. Ours is not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going from Italy. Definitely a stage problem. I mean, I check marked all the I check marked all the skills that were under the class. Mitch. Okay. So, so what happens is you're allowed to put a extra one point in 
six different ones. Mm -hmm. So I'll just make a suggestion really quickly. You need uh, an extra one in heal. You'll need perception. You'll want it in spellcraft. Um, sense motives is good for witches. Sense motives huge. That leaves two left. I'm going um, to say. We have some diplomacy. By all means, go ahead and. Diplomacy. No. Edit my sheet. Okay. okay. By all means. Survival. What about spellcraft? Where's the handle? Oh, no, never mind. Does she have a job? Oh, apparently, apparently I can talk to uh, animals. Do you have a job? Ooh, wait, better yet, better yet, uh, a knowledge. What specific area of knowledge would you say she studies? Specifically, oh God. Like magic uh, or the you know basically it, it's there's probably magical history most likely. Okay, I'm just gonna list them off really quick. There's Arcana, magic, um, dungeoneering, engineering, geography, history, local, nature, nobility, planes, or religion. Well, I know I already have knowledge in, what, four of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, you get them as class, but this is the one that gets the extra bonus. Basically, it, it gets, gets an, an extra, extra bonus. Okay, so basically I'd be smarter in one one of yeah, those sections. one that you really study a um, lot. I do suggest magic. It really does help out. Yeah, I, I would, I would yeah. just do magic. Specifically, it says that uh, it lets you pull up things on ancient mysteries, magical traditions, arcane symbols, constructs, dragons, and magical beasts. So that yeah. Super good. yeah. Uh, I'll be able to that. Yeah. Fantastic. So that means I'm just going to pull yours up and I'm going to make a change. Go for it. So we got straight to heal. Pull that up. Knowledge Arcana. Perception. And then I'll go back to uh, putting down my hexes under spell zero. Yeah. Oh, um, it says like what level? Do I write that down as zero, or do I let? Uh, do I need to write that down as one? Where's A hex that? is levels. No. Oh, you mean what do you treat it as? Yeah, because it says like it, I'm an I. Apparently, put it in hexes. Zero. You can cast as many times as you want, but it's like yeah, no. once per enemy. Yeah, once yeah. Hexes, hexes, hexes are my cantrips. They're not cantrips. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really they're... weird. Some right, of them so have levels. So I didn't know yeah. where to put it on my. I so, didn't know where to put it on my form. So healing would be a level one. It says. Okay, so I need to go ahead and change that then. Oh, apparently I put it in the wrong yeah. place. Once a creature has benefited from a healing hex, they cannot be benefited again by it for twenty four hours. Mm hmm Yeah, I wrote that I wrote that down, at least for the healing thing. I hadn't put anything else down for Evil Eye or uh Slumber yeah. yet. I was just making sure I wrote so, them down. Evil Eye doesn't it's have It's actually one. Okay. Uh yeah, it's actually not letting me change the level of my Slumber. healing. Slumber is level one. There, and I'll so I've narrowed the her. Go class one there, so that's fine. Go for it. I've narrowed traits down. I've narrowed traits down for her to three that I think would be probably the best. Okay. One of them is arcane temper, which she gets a plus one bonus on concentration and initiative te checks. The other is Inspired by Greatness, which you choose any spell you cast, and you always cast the spell at plus one caster level now. And the other is Gain plus two trait bonus on initiative, and all those are from different... Or mm -hmm. The last two are from the same thing, so she has to pick one of those two, but I think the Concentration one is huge. Am I correct in that? Um, witches use it. Concentration a lot, actually, in later levels. Oh, and it's also in... Well, concentration comes in mostly yeah, yeah from spells that require concentration, but more so yeah. when you get hit. Yeah, but well, as a spellcaster, spell normally you want to try and like 
plus one isn't as huge. Yeah, I mean, you can hold off on it for now, in my opinion. But later on, whenever we get to enemies that can pick you out of the group and say go for her, you might start wanting to look into it. But that plus one caster level would be a huge one if she applied it to, like, her best spell, which would either be Evil Eye or Slumber, right? Yeah. Well, Evil Eye isn't going to be counted as a spell that you'd be able to do that with. Slumber is because it actually has a spell behind it, but Evil Eye is a, a magical ability. Mm -hmm. So it won't get the plus one. Would you suggest taking that as one of hers and using it on Slumber? I'm sorry, what's that? Do you think, do you think that, that would be a good one to do as one of her true traits and to use it on slumber? Uh, it's a 50-50, really. <laughs> that be. expression. That yeah. expression. If, if you no. want, <laughs> you can always... You can try it, and if you don't like it, you can retrain, right? Yeah, you can spend some of your downtime to retrain. It, it, at this at level... This level it takes, you know, a couple weeks in game. But it's possible to do if you get it. Are and... you are you done playing with my uh, form yes. right now? Can I go back? Okay, just making sure. Well, we might we might need assistance on hers then because those were my ones that I thought would be best. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm looking right now at the traits here. I think I've settled on getting a plus one bonus on reflex saves and then the plus three rage rounds a day for myself. Yeah, that would be great for a barbarian. The reflex is really, really nice. It comes in handy. I'll link my two in the uh, roll twenty. Okay. I need myself some coffee. I do actually have the video going, so it's working on my end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was also feeling the chat saying they were having issues with it. Yeah, we don't have anything dropped. Mm hmm. Some people's internet just doesn't like them. Like Daniel's. Well, it's, it's also because we're not a partner, so they can't choose to lower the quality of the stream, which really hurts. Right, right. How much does that partnership thing cost? It is, it's not a cost thing. We have to have a certain amount of viewers on a consistent basis. I think we need to have like a steady stream of 300 viewers or something. Yep. Eventually. Maybe. If Garrett keeps doing things like he did in the brothel, then... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep it up. <laughs> I had to listen. I had to turn the AC unit on after that. Basically, schooled. Mm. He's got two dragon pistols, actually. <laughs> One's a burst shot. <laughs> well, technically, they both can do either or. But slow of hand doesn't work <laughs> on one of them. <laughs> Be a lot of viewers, indeed. Mm hmm. Shab, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I saw on the webcam, and it's like he was staring down. And I'm like, you can what the only... heck are you doing? And then all of a sudden, he puts like this wooden hand into my webcam. <laughs> You could, you might have to keep it up in a brothel. 
<laughs> it's one of the benefits oh, of being crap. in the same room together is you can just like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, none of those work. You want your witch cantrips? Yes, I want my witch cantrips. What the? Okay, I, I, did I just see that right? Did, it, I did. It totally said cook people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the crap? Now I need to click on this just. To <laughs> yeah, <laughs> witches can be hideously <laughs> evil. Yeah. You can be the most evil. No, I'm not going to be evil. But, but I was just could. like, did I, did I read that right? And I was but, like, apparently I did. I mean, you're but neutral, you so really, as long as you do enough good actions to out, to oppose your evil actions, it's okay. No, it's not okay. No, yeah, it is. Not. It's like a seesaw. You just got to put enough good on this side and enough <laughs> evil on this side so it stays cooking straight. The, cooking the victim takes one hour. <laughs> yeah. the food you, one of you the saying that. That just, that just makes it chaotic evil. What about Warren? Yep. He didn't do evil. <laughs> he Not in evil his people. eyes. No, he, he straight up didn't do evil. I, oh, well... That was coming from the right. Game Master. You, you have a point. What else could neutral be? I, I mean, you have to either be taking good actions or evil actions. So you have I'm, to just no, balance it's chaotic, them. Neutral would be chaotic more inaction. I think yes. wearing severed dwarf heads as a belt is... Kind of evil. <laughs> no, kind of. It's not evil. But what if those what if those dwarves were you know murderers and they you're wearing were, them? As they, a were, warning, they, they were. They were defiling and, and they were defiling and they were defiling and killing the people of his church. He, he was a paladin, a, the, a paladin of law and justice. He had all the right reasons to do it. All right, let's I'm see. just saying. Did he do it in does... the right way? Because yes. that's equally as important. Yes. Oh. Uh, one shot. Okay, so I need to I need to With document my familiar. Am I putting that under NPC? Am I putting that under items? Um, for now, put it in. It's a domicile. I'm sorry. Say that again. Uh, some sort of notes page or something like just find a good spot for it because I'm not sure there. That's something I'm gonna have to implement on Hunter. Okay. Well, because it. Um... Does she get to decide what color her dinosaur is? No. It should be pink. It's going to be invisible colored. <laughs> it's gonna be invisible colored. Yeah. Invisible just this... dinosaur. No, I mean, no, 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 I mean, it, it does have like a bird-like body. You should totally get one of those frilled lizards. So wait, what you're telling me is she has a ghost dinosaur? No. No. I'm telling you that it doesn't have visible skin. Oh, that's weird. So you just see its muscles and stuff? Yes. So joking. it's like uh, that's a really Mrs. Creepy Impossible. Looking... It's like Miss Impossible from Venture Brothers. <laughs> that's a really <laughs> creepy looking uh, dinosaur. Wait, where's its skin? Oh, it, it has it. You can kind of see it, but only if you look at it. It's just like, like one of those. You want to touch like it? Like those weird yeah. fish. Yeah, it's like one of the translucent <laughs> fish or the frogs. I swear no, it's there. Do you want no, to touch thank it? You. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, skill notes. So should I put it there? Because apparently it adds. What the heck did it add? It, it gains plus four bonus on initiative checks. Yes. Just just note it. I'm going to check your notes and cross it. I'm trying to find your traits right now. I don't. I don't. I don't think I have the traits on there yet. That's that's fine. I I haven't chosen your traits yet. Like I haven't picked out the ones that you should really use. So just out of curiosity, I see that the uh, lightning rail does cross over the Mornlands. No, it's not, it's not in service anymore there. Okay, I was about to ask whether they rebuilt it over there or if it was somehow able to escape destruction. Okay, so those routes are cut off. Yeah, they're not yeah. in service. Uh, what's the We're average sorry, the height and weight of uh, shifters? You'd be about 4'9". Really yeah, about 4'9", <laughs> 330 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> I put Sav as 5'1", but she can be 4'11 if you need her to. I figured the beast are, are, ones are we would gonna, be a little are we taller have, and that the dream sight ones would be a little shorter. Are we going to have pink hair and red hair? Can we, can we do that? Yeah, you can do that. 
So my fur is pink. <laughs> These are the yes. base I, height. Here, here you go for base fur. height and weight and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yes, thank you. You can have some fur. Oh crap! No, 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 no! I don't want to. Oh wait, new new window. Okay, yes. That's oh, you me. can be ultra tiny. Ultra so tiny. I'll. I guess Sab will be there's more like four nine, and you'll be like four five. So what we're gonna do real quick. Take a Good God, break that's really short. To, to grab some snacks and go to the bathroom, all that jazz. Uh, so we'll be right back, audience. We'll be back soon. All right.